Hi guys, Sean McKay here playing Pillars of Eternity, and I am in the Endless Paths of Odd Nuo. And so I've hit level 11, and unusually, we have a master staircase directly next to the stairs. That's really unusual. It means that this map is in fact smaller, and that we should probably expect to see some small ones as well. Uh, so we have a new enemy here, the Sportling. I've also brought Amy Winehouse back into the mix. Yay, Amy Winehouse is back, yay. And I will be... I level her up to level five. They all, everything, every single one that you recruit actually seems to uh, still gain levels, which is good. Only one spoiling. Okay, we can deal with this. And uh, this paladin has a few new abilities. One, uh, three for rest called sworn enemy. Marks an enemy as the focus of the paladin's righteous fury, granting action and damage bonuses. That's pretty awesome to me. Uh, lay on hands I've had before, and of course, Flames of Devotion uh, is now two per encounter. Two per counter, yes, okay. Uh, so those are, are pretty cool abilities. And she also has another passive ability that whenever she deals uh, damage. Oh, that's a funny name. Whenever she, she, or not damage, whenever she kills, actually, whenever she kills an enemy. Uh, she will uh, provide a massive bonus around to all the enemies. And this is actually a very large stockpile. Forest Lurker in the back as well. Yes. Let's get a pretty high DPS spell going here. I shall do. Hmm? Let's get that going. Oh, I see. The, the area here is actually so narrow that I can't fit everything in here properly. So I'm going to keep Troublemaker in the back for now. I think that's really just where he belongs. For now. Yeah. As I have... Oh my god, it's a Wind Blight. Um, remind me, Wind Blight, Wind Blight, Wind Blight. Oh boy, that's actually worse. That is way worse. That one, That's the one that does the nasty um, yeah. area effect damage. So I'm going to use a spell that would heal and damage at the same time. Not gonna have a large effect to the area, but it'll still have some sort of effect. Yeah. And I gotta repurpose this over to here. So this wind blight can screw everything up if not properly taken care of. Hey. This guy's out of stuns right now. Uh, so let's use the uh, bonus damage attack. See if we can get some. Is this guy called Disease Pudding? That is amazing. Uh, I'm gonna pull this guy back completely. Get our uh, friend the elk in there, along with her, because I can get him to do the bow and arrow now that this is a kind of a, you know, a, a, a point that is uh, cutted. I don't know. Get some flanking wisps going on here. Can actually use them to potentially take over these guys. And wow, she actually takes a significant amount of damage here. Uh, so I'm gonna pull her back real quick. I was only using her because she was a higher of the damage dealers. Maybe I'll actually lay her as well. Oh snap! Where do these shades come from? Oh wow, that is terribly terrifying. They just kind of bounced out of nowhere, didn't they? Um, Time to get on your sword and board. He doesn't have a sword and board, he just has a sword. Yes. Time to get on your two-hander, sir. Wow, uh, this is really bad positioning on my part. So we're going to use a bouncy attack, I guess. Just kind of get myself out of here. I need someone to off-tank these guys here while this is all going down. Lava will be on it's the back row that's sucking right now. Um, okay, that's good. I'm gonna go for a big ol' AoE deal. His, uh, these guys have these nasty little things that they toss. I don't really like them at all. Not one bit. Um, I'll do a little bit of damage. Jeez, the shades are just replicating again. I, I can't. I'm trapped. I'm full on trapped. Oh god. 
Okay, luckily they don't seem to do higher amounts of damage. Uh, just gonna sacrificial lamb somebody. I have to use a lot of these spells, so um, I don't even know where she is. Okay, I have a last stand type spell that I'll use. That's good enough. And you just have to kind of get people targeting whoever they can target. He's using disability, that's already going to be good. How may I help? This guy can target pretty much everyone. So let's use this flamey type spell. That'll. I haven't been able to use this one a lot. Um... Okay, let's pad her with some ice damage. She is the healer who takes lots of damage. What is it? Okay, so we'll get another pile of wisps. Wherever I can, basically. Jeez, she is suddenly in trouble. Okay, um... Can't see him. So those, those are not going to be useful spells. This one might. It'll deal a little bit of damage to myself, but also a lot of damage to them. Uh, to the ones that are actually doing damage to me. Yeah. She's in a lot of trouble. So let's cast a nice friendly heal on everyone. Oh boy, that fire spell did a lot of damage to everyone. Okay, let's get her to do another one of those big heals. Big heal! Um, oh, the porting is all dead. That's good. Uh, none of those spells are particularly useful right here. And what do we have here? Holy Power. That's actually one... At least another one of these per rest spells. I still can't really find... Oh, here she is. So I'm going to put the spell on him. It's a, yes. it's, it doesn't run out or anything along those lines, so it'll be good forever, it seems. Yeah, I remember what it is now. On death, she gets uh, pretty substantial bonuses to um, to endurance, or on the death of an enemy when she gets a killing blow, which is why you know hey. having her do this is also very good. Leave it to me. Looks like that's all cleared up. Those shades, those giant shade blobs are terrifying, but uh, they are controllable. Even with, uh, you know, a lot of uh, units that I have here that are not, you know, all that great. Yes. Switch him over to a crossbow as well. She will be up front, trying to get that kill and blow. Oh boy, unless she's the one who dies here. Does she have a secondary weapon? She has her fists. Okay, let's go with the uh, the heal here. Hmm. There we go. And everyone's doing so good except for her. Uh, we burned through a lot of spells there, way more than I would have ever wanted to. And. Kind of a dead end here. Not a total waste of time, it was experience. Uh, so that was pretty terrible on my part. I'm, ooh, double fungus. Let's see if I can. Jeez, no. Well, it's only three sporlings. They do all have knockbacks, which. Yeah, that can be pretty. That can get pretty terrible. So we'll have those guys with the 
Yes. You can probably use melee too. There's enough surface area for it. And whoa, we have disease puddings here as well. Yes, I see how this goes now. So we'll use this on everything pretty much. One, two, three disease puddings, and we have all these sporlings. They just got some kind of boost because there's also some sort of sporling, other sporlings here that are giving them some sort of boost. Okay, um, yeah, let's see if I can leash this by going through this tunnel area here. So I'm going to have a snare. She's particularly slow. Looks like some of them are leashing. Wow, you were really slow. Oh, there was something over here. What is this? Doesn't say. Oh my god. Need more area. There we go, there we go. God, she, knocked, she got the distance she got knocked down at is insane. So much for you. And that would be the end of that guy. Yeah, there is something here. But what is it? One mass of vicious thorns and thick vines spans the gap between the cavern walls, and there is a space here, there, and vegetation. You can see there's a chamber beyond, but it'll be difficult to pass unscathed. Ah, look at the vines. The vines have grown so thick and tangled as to form a nearly impenetrable wall. Many thorns are... So I can cut the enough vegetation, I can cross the wall. I think I'm just going to leave it because that's a shortcut and uh, I'd like to be able to clear through all of this uh, so that if I have to come back up, because this is a great staircase, I can do so. God, why are you so slow? Your name is Butternuts. Well, they do a lot of damage. To heal. Okay, we're up to three. I need to get him up one more, and then I can do... All the mad damages. Ah, got him. Okay, this is going to be a very difficult for these guys to get through here, so I'm just going to use this to my advantage. Uh, what is it? So you're going to try and hit the huh? back row first. Best I can. Oh, the goat is gonna go down. Come on, heal the goat. Oh, I did not heal the goat. Die. Cancel that. Huh? This guy can go back to being sword and board again. Board. The sword. Gee, she takes a lot of damage. Uh, let's get up that. Lay on hands. I definitely don't remember her taking that much damage. Okay, now he's a slightly weakened back row because I've been focusing on it so much. This, this, the regular swamp fine shouldn't be too bad. I mean, it it's a level. I would have seen these in like level like three or you know, and I'm on level eleven, so 
these beasties have been getting very, very dangerous over time. Uh, just kind of repeating a lot of the old enemies. Is that a, what did I get there? A diamond? Did I get a diamond? Oh, apparently I've looted many diamonds. Yeah, diamonds. No, we cannot rest the spell. Oh my god, look at these things. What are they? Swap spores? Oh my god. Okay, so I'm going to pull all these guys, like, back here. Hey, I have him up front with her. She's not doing so hot herself. Our archer will be yeah. way yeah. back here. Yes. Ranged here. You're good. And she's going to stay there. That's good positioning. Do they not move? I bet they don't move. Oh, they take over Zeus. Interesting. They don't move, and they take over my animal. But how much worse could this be? Okay. So they're mind control flowers who mind control animals. Uh, so I'm going to keep Zeus as far back as possible, because I've learned something here. They, uh, these uh, spore things have the power to control the mind. It also means that, uh, since it's a range, I can actually put my melee weapon with this guy and have him join the front. And I'll have him kind of just running forward and sliming. Not sliming, uh, stunning. Because he is stunning, isn't he? Mm -hmm. And we'll focus everyone else on this swamp spore. Oh, they mind control people too. That is slightly worse, actually. I think more than just slightly worse, though. Yeah. They, they, they don't take a lot of damage. Well, I might as well burn through some spells because I will be, you know, doing things. So he's uh. I'm gonna use two dots. Yes. On these two here. Huh? Yes. And then what else can I burn through? Oh, took over a loth. Before you can get a spell off. Poor loth. It means he's not gonna get this heal. So it calls upon the Pelant Air, causing their equipped weapon to burst into flame and adding burn damage to their next attack. So, a very bonus burn damage attack. So, despite having that dot, he's taken not a lot of damage. Now, Zeus has been taken over as well. Oh yes. boy. Well, on the plus side. Oh jeez, he isn't even using the right weapon. On the plus side, um, I only have, you know, jeez, they always switch him over to this uh, melee weapon every time. They, they do this to him. Did they take over another one of my heroes? It's like, Troublemaker's been taken over, in fact. Um, let's restore endurance over here. Loth has been taken over another time. Well, I can use these abilities. I can't. I can use these mark abilities. Um, what is it? And I can also. Use the lay on hands. Oh, Aloth is fully dead. On her, I guess. Oh, she's been taken over. Maybe I'll use it on Troublemaker. God, how they take north three at once? That is beyond the. Oh, four at once, actually. Sorry. My mistake. Oh my god. 
It's gonna heal off. All my heroes at once. That is not fair one bit. Let's get out of here, whatever I can. Edder, if you know what's best for you, you should run too. Well. Oh, Edder. Okay, so I'm down two heroes. I have one left. I have to get down this swamp spore, which indicates that it's injured. And it doesn't really matter if I focus my da uh, split my damage or whatnot. So let's get him with his sword. Um, yeah, it'd just be nice to have someone like Aloth around. He does uh, exciting amounts of damage. Hopefully they go for my goat first here. Because that would really help a lot. Okay, all guns blazing. Let's do this. They've taken over the troublemaker. Why not? Oh god, they all automatically uh, are bad at moving. Well, they keep the damage that they took from battle to battle. That's always good. Hey. This makes it all very uh, complicated to manage. Troublemaker has uh, three. Maybe I can... Tricks them into using the skeletons. Yes. Let's get that sword back on, shall we? Kill them all. Well. Got a few more hit points left, and they are just carefully taking out my heroes. Hmm. I kind of think about an alternative strategy. It's kind of uh, gamey, though. Um, I could potentially uh, only use the skeletons to actually kill this. Like I said, it's a very gamey strategy. So that's one more down. Now it's just a matter of getting this last swap spore out. Losing my own heroes. Why is enough attacking? What is it? Pathing this game is very, very wonky, I find. Okay, I don't need editor okay, so given the position of this flower, I can attack with skeletons and range. But not much more. So I have any wine house in there. Of course. This guy with the bow. Look at that. They already took kind of the the only bait that I really had with this is the uh, skeletons. So much for you. Now I'm not going to cast any. Um, uh, wisps, because I, I would worry that they they might be a bit too powerful. Also, Amy Winehouse is near death, so I'm going to pull her all the way back, just so she can't be targeted anymore, and dead. And my party's back to life. Okay. Now the real question is, is there anything of value here? A dead body with a right of useful spirits and money. Money is valuable, the right of useful spirits not so much. I don't really like the 
run things. There's no secrets here, I don't think. A lot of these tend to have secrets. My foot just awkwardly fell asleep. Oh, I'm gonna reposition my leg. And wiggle my big toe. Oh, please don't be a mess. Because that would be terrible. All right. Oh my god, it's another one of these. So I have to just pull these things away from that, because that thing is awful. Wait a minute. They're all friendly. There's a giant dank... Dank? Dank spore here, as well as a few other people. Okay, so clearly I need to bring somebody up to speak with them. All right. Oh! You are not nice people. You are not nice people. And they mind controlled my dude and gave him a bow. What the hell was that all about? Okay, let's put on the Flames of Devotion. He should turn back to my side sooner rather than later, hopefully. They tricked me though. I mean, it's supposed to be like, hey, here's a quest, and it's like, surprise, cockbag, you're dead. Is he ever gonna switch back to my side? It would be nice if it did. There we go, back to my side. Using them stuns. Oh my god, that was so much. So we have a giant dank spore. This is even worse than the last encounter. Giant dank spore. Uh, are you going to awaken to Adra? Um, okay, so I have a couple. I've had those before. Jeez, okay. Um, hmm. And they don't want to move. Very far. See, he's going to try and plan and stun me, but I'm going to also plan on stunning him. Maybe our stuns will collide. This guy has a melee on, he's not supposed to. Unless just the computer has a better idea of how to play the game than I do, which is very possible, actually. Okay, another one dead. Jeez, that is a... I'm gonna bet that this here uh, will either lead you directly into here, which is kind of a trap, or alternatively allows you to skip it. Which in that case, I am also out. Run! Everybody gotta run! Oh no. Oh, this is bad. I can't pull that big, goofy guy. He just is not gonna be on my side. Uh, so I have to find a way to get rid of all these things. Um, Maybe plus side, I can't pull the big goofy guy? That could be a plus. Um, hmm. She has no range at all. He's got range. Okay. So maybe what I'll do is I'll we'll just nuke down one, run out. Nuke down another, run out. I think that should work. She'll be basically our damage soaker for now. That's her official role in all of this. And yeah. this guy. Hopefully they don't get tangled up on the way. Hey. Oh, you know what? We're going to do this. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. Huh? And where's our actual yeah. archer? Actual archer is already targeted. Excellent. Yes. Yeah. 
they took care of control of the law that fast. Oh my god. Okay, let's get this ability. Oh, he's pulling. Okay, I did some swamp spore damage there, so that's good enough. But I will be running and dealing with this guy. Oh, wow, they took control of two of them. And he has done his thingy where he does stuff to me, and I don't like it. Okay, I'm not sure if we're going from worse to better or what. Skeletons. Use the power of burning. Oh good, we got a successful knockback. Okay, she should probably pull back. If she can. Looks like they will not let her escape this. And then there's full fate. Knockback blaze, yes. Oh, he still has a stick on because they mind controlled him. Every time they put a mind control on, it's obnoxious because they make him attack with a stick. Oh, she's not even in melee range. I don't know what she's getting hit by. Okay, uh, so that's another one of these uh, forest lurkers, and they do kind of look like the lurkers from World of Warcraft. Uh, uh, it's that place with the... I can't remember what they're called. Okay, well, positive side, that means that I can, you know, take care of these guys. And these are all my most powerful yeah. spells and abilities. And I have tons of endurance, and I have lots of camping supplies, so this shouldn't be too... Hazardous, but we're gonna focus all our attacks on this guy. Huh? So a stun. Hey. I always worry that I'm gonna stun myself sometimes when I target like that. Uh, we'll use this ability here on him, which will increase all damage from him well. to him. Sorry, uh, he will just melee until he gets something good. He will attack. He will cast a magic spell. He's probably going to get taken over first, but who cares? And she will terrify. Okay, they took control of him instead. Did she actually cast that from like such a wicked distance? Looks like she did. That is awesome. And they also took control of my archer. And they've taken control of Troublemaker. That is a lot. I have to have a dispel here. It seems unlikely that they wouldn't have a way to spell charm. Um, no. None of those do that. Let's see. Meekened Afflictions. Oh, okay. Stifles detrimental conditions through sheer fills blah 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 in an area of effect. So that'd be like right here. Maybe I can get it. Maybe that's the one that I need. Okay, so let's use this. Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, exposed vulnerabilities. That's a great spell. Oh, jeez. Uh, never mind. It is area of effect. Yeah, we used a bouncy attack. Sure. That had little to no effect on things. Okay, time to use like things like magical missiles. Those yeah. things are always awesome. How may I help? It's supposed to be casting his bouncy attack. Another fire attack. The dankness cannot win. Eh? Love up. Be 
Okay. Mm He's still spinning good, but I do have these guys, so I'll use the skeletons. Like I said, I don't want to use the wisps, because the wisps can actually be can be kinda of nasty from time to time. And he controlled him as I was trying to do things. That's awesome. Okay, uh jeez. I don't actually don't want to use the bounce spell because I just realized that bounce spell is probably just hurting me. Should have realized that a while ago. Okay, actually, so that's one down. Let's run everyone out of there. And have exit combat so I can reset all my abilities. Forever mind controlled. Oh wow, she can actually die from the next hit from melee strike from a loth. Okay, everyone's alive. Jesus, that's tough. But I'm pretty dedicated to actually, um, you know, finishing this. Okay, I can't get him back alive. Uh, so I can choose to get the dank spore down or the uh, swamp spore down. And uh, Regardless, looks like I will have to... I can probably do one more. Probably do try one more. And then we'll go for that. So slightly less mind controls this time around, hopefully. So I'm gonna go for the, the weaker of the two spores. So preemptively select abilities to use on him. Actually, you know what I can use on him? This. That'll work out. Yes. Get him hey. doing that. She will cast that. I think that's everyone. I think everyone's ready to attack. Okay, so now we need to use this stupid thing. And make sure people aren't targeting my heroes, which a lot of them probably are. Whoa, he is dying super fast. That is awesome. In fact, I might even consider stunning this guy and just continue on with this. It's because people aren't getting mind control as much, of course. Okay, that's another one down. That's awesome. Okay, now I just need one more to kill. I actually have two spells left for a lot. Possibly even trying to murder everyone. And I still have another arrow. That is awesome. Let's go for the stun rays. Is he stunned? I don't know if he's stunned. He's a flower. I mean, honestly. Oops. Accidental move. Giant dank slime. We'll meet his maker. Okay, let's do the book bitch slap. Book bitch slap. This guy's not even attacking, he's all like, sup, bro? And dead! Excellent, and I get my goat back. Awesome. Uh, and I get the loot. Some spores. Oh! My god, that was... I didn't know how I clicked there. What are these? These are dank spores. Okay, that's a funny name for them. So that was a trap. I don't know how I even clicked there to get to that trap. Okay, who actually has health? He has health, so it's just... Is there anything here? Oh, there's actually a body here. That's why there would be a trap there. Herp, derp, 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 derp. And what we get from here is Vera's Leaves, a one-handed rapier. And I have two heroes that use one-handed rapiers. Uh, one who has been out of the loop for a while and could probably use some improvements. Jeez, even that kind of feels like an improvement. But no, that was actually her old weapon. The new weapon. Oh, the new weapon will be a rapier. Great might. And I wanted her to have a lot of damage. I suppose a damage reduction, because she does give a boost to the party in terms of endurance, which is by ability. 
go on. Oh wow, look at this. Oh wow, I just, I just realized. Look how tiny this level is. This is a freaking tiny level. Uh, going through that path would allow me to bypass the, the, the danks, the giant dank thing. But it would have also allowed me to, um, to skip that. Yeah, it would have allowed me to actually skip that fight, but I also lost that sword. Uh, so that's all for floor 11. Thank be to Jesus, that was one crazy, crazy tough floor. Um, I'm guessing the theme from now on will be smaller but harder. Because so far the very large winding paths, endless winding paths that have been easier. And this one is uh, not the case. Uh, so I'll be, I don't know how many floors are left to this thing. Um, but this is floor 12, which is, um, it's slightly larger than the last one. So maybe that will be the end. I don't know. I do have something else that I'll have to take care of eventually. I don't know whether I want to auto-resolve it or not. Uh, the bleak hollow bandits from the northern wilds have been poured across in the plains of Kainua. They'll be at our doorstep any day now. We'll see if I have time or whether I have to auto-resolve that. Uh, in the meantime, I have actually been making lots of progress on building things. I have 15 prestige and 22 security, uh, which has been working pretty, pretty well. And we're slowly building pretty much everything pretty quickly. And I have more than enough money to pay for everything in advance, as well as my employees who, just so you know, they're always bugged out as currently unpaid. They never leave me, but they're currently unpaid. Anyway, my name is Trollmaker. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, join me next time for Odd Newell Level 12.